And Hitachi is close to concluding a deal to build a nuclear power plant in Lithuania. The firm obtained preferential negotiating rights over the project last year. On Thursday, the Lithuanian parliament approved the plant's construction. The Lithuanian government hopes the plant will begin operation around 2020. Hitachi made the proposal with its U.S. partner, General Electric. The planned construction is expected to be worth about $5 billion. If the deal goes through, this will be the first time a Japanese firm has won a contract to build a nuclear power station since last year's nuclear disaster in Fukushima. Past the disaster and nuclear accidents scared tourists away, but they've been coming back. And now tourism officials are excited about the latest numbers. The data suggests things are better than they've been, and they also show the origin of the visitors is evolving. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa has more. One of Tokyo's most popular destinations, Asakusa, is once again enjoying a continuous flow of tourists from across the world. We see more and more foreign visitors every day. The government's tourism organization says 669,000 travelers visited Japan in May. That's 87% up from last year, right after the March 11th catastrophe, and about 7% down from 2010. Visitors from Asian countries such as China contributed dramatically to this return to pre-March 11th figures. But tourists from the United States and Europe have yet to make a comeback. Tourists from other countries are filling their places. Tourism officials say more people from emerging economies in Southeast Asia are coming to Japan. The number of visitors from Thailand, Indonesia and Vietnam hit a record high for the month of May. Yeah, uh, actually I bring my kids. This is all kids I will bring to the Disney uh, yesterday. And then maybe tomorrow we'll be going to the, the Mount Fuji, Fuji Monte. Yeah, we're uh, uh, already for vacation. Okay. <laughs> Last year, they don't want to come to Japan because Fukushima problem now. The, but this year, I think that Japan will be popular. And they want to visit Japan because food and culture and the people. Nowadays, yen is quite high. Don't you oh think? yeah, but that's what we. Yes, 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 that is, is that we know. But now you you got to have your chance when when when, when the time is right. We cannot wait more. <laughs> so. The Japanese government is aiming to attract more and more tourists from Asian emerging economies. This month, the foreign ministry launched a program to issue multiple entry visas for Thai tourists. The recovery of tourism isn't happening that fast. The government, the private sector, and municipalities have to roll up our sleeves and work closely together to attract more visitors. The strength of the yen means a trip to Japan can be expensive. But many visitors I've spoken to say cost isn't a concern. The Japanese economy still has a long way to go before it fully recovers from last year's disaster. But with the help of visitors from emerging economies, it might get back on track faster. Mitsuko Nishikawa, NHK World, Tokyo.